All right, DMs open at Ben and Kelly Show. You can always shoot us a DM, and we'll turn around, toss it out to our listeners, maybe see if we can get you some help. Yeah, Jessica did that. She said, hey, Ben and Kelly, I'm a divorced mother of two kids, ages seven and five. Mm -hmm. I've been in a wonderful relationship with a widower for about four years now, living together for two. Mm. He's got a lovely 11-year-old daughter. We've managed to blend our family pretty seamlessly. Mm -hmm. I'm in a place where I'm ready to get married again, but he still wants to wait. Okay. That's a discussion for another day, though. Oh, gotcha. Here is my dilemma. I've been considering getting a small tattoo to honor my two kids, like a number seven, since both of their birthdays are sevens, Mm -hmm. not initials or their names or anything. Now, I'm curious if my boyfriend's daughter will feel hurt or left out if the tattoo has nothing to do with her. How do I proceed here? Do I just not get the tattoo? Do I do what feels right to me, even if my boyfriend and daughter might feel slighted? What do you think? Interesting. I will answer your question and say, yeah, I think maybe the daughter would feel left out, especially yeah. if you explained what it was. Yeah. And you know, they're going to ask. Yeah. It's like, so, Hey, I, Hey, why'd you get the tattoo of sevens? Well, you see, here's this, here's this about that. And, and if you blended your families for how long? Four years. You- Four years? Oh, oh living yeah, together for living two. they've been living together for two. They've been di- together for four years. She's ready to get married. He wants to wait for some reason. So I-, I feel like this is only going to open up the door for some hurt feelings, some drama. And I feel like maybe we wait to do something like this until you are at a place where you guys are going to permanently blend your families and maybe get married. And then you incorporate them somehow. Yeah, I would hate to exclude someone like that because especially if you guys have been living together for two years, she, and I don't know the dynamic, but it sounds like from your message that you've blended them pretty well. So right, yeah, you're all like a family. Yeah, so she probably doesn't feel like she's an outsider necessarily, but if you do that, it's going to make her feel like an outsider. I think 100% you're right. Like, I don't think now is the time to do something like that. And if you are going to do something like that, you need to figure out a way to incorporate them. Right. Uh, So, Jessica, our answer is pause. Yep. (laughs) Because it's not like you have to get the tattoo before the end of the year or it's no no good. No, and you've been thinking about it. And I think you were right to consider before you did this, like, hey, do you think this is going to hurt their feeling? Because we think, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, Eric uh, chimes in and says you could always do a tattoo that's seven dash three, seven for the children and three for the total number of children. Yeah. I mean, I think that there's variations of, of how you could honor all the kids there. But more importantly, I think you just hit the pause button. Yeah, I, I would wait until you know, are you guys going to be in it for the long haul? And, and you know, it sounds like you are. Yeah. But we need to make sure that your boyfriend is on board with all that, and this is going to be a permanent family situation for you guys. And I'd ask, like, your boyfriend well, how he feels about it, too. Yeah. Because oh, he, absolutely. He may not want that. Like, you know, I don't know. Um, I, I think right now that the, the quick, the quick answer, Jessica, is just to say, let's, let's pause on this. Let's let you and your boyfriend maybe get engaged, maybe get married, if that's where it goes. And then, you know, several months, maybe a year or so down the road, we readdress this. Jenny's thinking, go ahead, get the sevens tattooed now when they get married at the girl's birthday, his daughter. Yeah, I guess you could do that, but you could do that. But it, maybe I that's still... a way that she gets him to commit to marriage. Oh my like, gosh! Hey, listen, okay, when your daddy <laughs> says he's ready to get married, then I'll add you. <laughs> yeah. That's oh my gosh! No, no, <laughs> that's, that's horrible. That is horrible. It's probably not All a good right. idea. All right. Well, anyways, Jessica, we've said our piece. All right. So, um, good luck with that, and keep us posted. That is. Da- into the DMs.